Hello guys, welcome back to Eagle 4, playing with the Anbanar Total Conversion mod and playing as the Mahakma Ogres. Mahakma. Mahakma? Mahakma. Mahakma. Yeah, sure. Last episode we had another war with these lake people. Uh, yeah. They're overtaking the spot for being our main enemies. Before it was the Centaurs, but they have been pretty much dealt with. Yeah, we don't actually border any Centaurs right now. Are they completely gone? I think they are. Yeah, just these humans left. I think our first goal here is to throw them back, like take this province, these provinces, and this stuff here. Well, I guess the Centaurs down here actually. Um, uh, yeah, and then of course. Fortify here and here. And, uh, then work our way around, I guess. Maybe also attack them, of course. I begin giving it a bit of thought. thought. I think role-playing wise... Yeah, and role-playing wise might not be the best gameplay wise, but I think role-playing wise... We should make them all tributaries. And then let them just squabble between themselves. I think it would fit, fit well with the ogre theme. Like the ogres, they have all these human tributaries, and each year the humans would come and offer tribute in forms of like, slaves, food, gold, and uh, and then the ogres would just like, eh, as long as you give us stuff, we don't really care what you do, as long as you stay on your little island. So we could like take, like we can directly annex all the land around it, and then fortify the entrances to this pseudo island, and then yeah, they can just squabble bet between themselves. Um, they could probably unite while they squabble, but I know that will happen, but would the ogres know that it would happen, that they would probably uh, unite uh, this nation? Probably not. So I think it would be nice story-wise, role-playing-wise, if we did it like that. Um, probably not so well or good uh, role-playing-wise, eh, uh, gameplay-wise. Um, but we are sort of role-playing here. Half ish. Who the hell? Who the heck? Who is these guys? Why am I? Oh, it was those guys we took that stuff from up here. Right, okay. Now these are Ratakots. We'll have to get this stuff here. Let's uh, build Spine Network. Yeah. Come home here. Well, build Spine Network up here as well. We have rebellions galore. Oh, more manpower. Hmm. Oh, right, core as well. How are we doing on admin tech? Eh, it's good. It's good. Okay, we have rebel scum. Hundred hooves. Probably up here. I don't know. Yeah, they will rebel on their own. We don't need to provoke them. We'll get more people to fight. Doing okay money wise. Uh, let's see. Ooh, 41. But let's keep building manufactories. Oh! Oh, it's because it's not statified. Ah, that's why it sucks. Yeah, do it. Mm, recent uprising. That's too bad. Oh, God damn it! Rail skulker. What the heck is that? Mm. Severed no, skewered Drake. Damn. Old Dukin. Hadouken. Mm. I would like to try and play one of the adventure groups over here and try and form Castellier and re re recreate the old kingdom. The Simber. Okay, go up there. I feel like we should probably get two more cannons in each army. We should probably also think about getting a third army here soon. Uh, two more here. Okay, get a claim here. And get a claim over here. 
How's this going? 21 still. Mm. Okay, we need them, these provinces to be third development. It's gonna cost so much. Okay. Down here. Let's see. Uh, encourage development. Wait, can we build universities? Oh, we can. Yes, that should help. Uh, here. Um, okay, wait with that. A bit. Once one of the universities, universities is done, we'll move this one over here. Then build the university here. Ah, really? I feel like our <laughs> ogre kings or emperors, they die rather quickly. How old is our... Air? Greece. Only four. But we have a regent. Odora Mayamo. So that that's okay. That's okay. Right, we need a uh, five universities, right? Yeah, we have one here. We haven't started that golden age yet. Can we maybe get it here? Five hundred. Mm. Okay, down here. Now one army. How much does it cost? One army. Oh, we are a bit like. I feel like ogres are really bad kings in general, and bad emperors, so... And they like to have a lot of avarice and greedy and pomp and, like... They're very happy about themselves, so I feel like we should do a uh, elaborate ceremony. Not that I think it's the best gameplay decision, but, uh, yeah. So we could... One more army would cost us roughly ten more bucks, so we could build one more army, really. Maybe even two, but let's just start with one. Yeah, to start with. And we want to max out. Okay, almost done. But I guess we could take another idea. Right. Sure. Okay, almost done. Good riddance. There we go. Okay, stop that. Go here. Put another diversity. Well, when we can. Uh, right. Uh, manufactories here. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, meh. Can we get another claim as well? Probably. No? How much does it cost? 25. Oh! Right, it's uh, down here we can get another claim. Let's see, we have a claim here, that's 8, 8, 14. Okay, get here. Uh, university here. So we need 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, mm, one more. 5 in our capital, I guess. Getting done, nice. Let's uh, development. Uh huh. Fifty four. Making most in well, admin and diplomatic. Let's take diplomatic. All right, so that should. Take off one more down here. Oh, we only need four. Okay, I thought we need five. Never mind. Zeezing the gift. Oh, we need. Oh, we need more provinces down here. Oh, we need uh, mm -hmm. five. We need four more. Okay, then we've got permanent claim. I see. Ignore. Uh, we could really just attack them. Hmm. Well, if I had a claim. But, no, we get do monstrous, of course. Yeah, let's do that while we wait for, I don't know, stuff to happen. Hmm. 
Still not sure if I want expansion ideas or not. I'm just keeping it for the colonists. I guess it's it's okay. Um, not amazing, but it's useful, sort of. Yeah, I don't know. Probably not. Uh, get this mad dude. Uh, build one army there. You know what? Just pull down both. Put a spy. And just come over here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> well, we don't get the claim unless we... Oh, right. We need these Kalaktas. Yeah, to be third development. We have two. Uh, points. Okay. Hmm. Need one more. Uh, should we just do it down here? You go up here. No, you know what? Go to somewhere we have, like, we have, where we have none. Yeah, here. The Thievery. Uh, we're still doing local development here. Yep. And... <coughs> Grand Slave Markets. Despite the best efforts of our warriors, many centaurs still try to pillage our lands, becoming captured in the process. With our prison camps overflowing, our wealthiest slaves, slavers have begun buying and auctioning them from the safety of the largest Kilakta in the plains. With new wealth pouring into our treasury from these markets, we've gone ahead and formally appointed these Kilakta as the primary slave and anthropods within our expanded dominion. So for the rest of the game, these four provinces get slave market, plus 25% good, uh, percent goods produced. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Sweet. Nice. I like it. Need four provinces. Alright. Do we need to core it or just own it? Five owned provinces. Not, okay, we don't need to core it. So we could take more because then we'll get permanent claims on it. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, it'll still be cheaper for us to core it. Let's try and devour them all, and border these elves, who think they can impede on our territory. We will show them the way of the god. Destroy these fools. Okay, sweet. Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah. And no. <coughs> Crush these fools. Atomark. Go here. The defensiveness is so shitty. Uh, Terra Incognita here in this lake. Alright. Let's see. Bonk, 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 bonk. Aw. You know what? I actually want to border... Oh. The elves over here. Okay, we'll take that. Isolate them. Sweet. Seizing the gift. Long ago, ogres ruled the southern reaches of the plains, stalking the desert hill mountains and building great forts along the river. They called themselves the Sandmore Ogres, and they were wiped out when famines struck them due to the day of ashen skies. Now, as we secure a dominant position within, within these lands, we must return to the lands of our lost brethren and seize the lands stolen from them by the Centaur Menace. And we have done so. So it should be... Oh, it's just the stuff we don't... Ah, okay. Mm. Eh. 
All right. I thought we would get in, gain on the stuff we took as well. Bloody hell. But no. Uh, yeah, just a uh, cord. My poor admin. Great river here from this basin. I guess, like, there should probably be like a river going up here as well into the mountains. Yeah. It was asked if I could take an adventure group from here, I think, and then go all the way down here, grab this area, and then form some kind of Egypt egg uh, following the river. But I think that's a bit too difficult, to be honest. I know there's a nation over here, uh, like around here. There's something with the K H E R something something Kefriate. I think they resemble Egypt. They also have a long river and a basin, a bit like the Nile. Uh, I think they're a bit more Egyptian-like. I think the adventures over here are supposed to form, well, these nations here: Blade Marches, Corintha, Castilia, and so on. Eleanor. Okay, that's also humans. Eleanor. <laughs> Get wet here, they really blobbed. Damn. Big old menace. Ye old menace. Um, yeah, okay, come on from here. And uh, a bit of over here. Conclave of Magi, yeah sure. I guess. Claim. Claim. Let's uh oh we did build a soldier over here. We want the uh, sixteen troops. Oops, no, that's too many. Right. Sixteen. Four cannons, or was it six? Six. Get a third army. I think that would be fine. Uh, Ituba, yes. Inebear, yes. Voices. Uh, they'll probably rebel in a moment. No need to provoke them, I guess. So we could get the next tech. Oh, right. We're supposed to get new tech. Yes. Yep. Just do it. New in cavalry. Nice. Cav Cirk Bombardiers. Sweet. Yep. Nice, nice. How are we doing on development? Oh, not too bad. Second place. Well, the command would get first place if they actually had some institutions. Get wet. Oh, damn. God damn. Oh, right. We're not paying for troops. Ah, okay. My bad. Uh oh. God damn it. God damn it. Ah, you're just going somewhere. Go and kill. Where the hell are you going? All the way up there. Hmm. Right. Good, we take that. Also, White Shadow. Dudes, <sighs> get these province names. Province name. I think it's down here. Province names. Uh, it's a bit difficult when you don't know the land. Where they are and such. Uh, fort defense. Yeah, sure. I guess it could come in handy against the, the humans. The 
two months. Right, head over here. And no, we still have the white shadow people. Or oh, centaurs. That's also down here. Let's just provoke them. Oh, it was not down. Oh, it's up here. Okay. Ah, my eye hurts. Ah. I have something in my eye, rather. But it also hurts. Okay, they took that. How annoying. Sure. New cannons, and they carve Cirque Bombardiers. Realizing the power of cannons and the danger of their own bomb strapped rams, the Chargers now take the field of battle carrying cannons and several explosives to launch from it. They run straight through, through the enemy, firing from the cannons as they go. When they run out of ammunition, they resort to their old tactics and use their cast iron cannons as the rams they've since abandoned. Well, I'll take it. Why not? Why the heck not? Okay, well, we like this stuff here taken. Um, we have no immediate rebels, so let's gather our troops up here. We have claim get a conquest war for some of this stuff here. Yeah. Well, just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fine. My phone is beeping. I should probably do the ramparts here. Oh, you know what? But no, they got bonus to production, so we should build ramparts. Mm. Yeah, fine. Plop that. Did we upgrade all our forts? We did. We should probably build a couple more. Um, but this here is protected by these two forts. That's protected here. Hmm. Is the garrison fully operational? Pretty much. Pretty much. When are we getting new forts? <laughs> Tick 19. We're not there yet. But 14, 15, 18. Okay, very soon actually. Uh, 11 years. Still. Uh, yep, grab that. Another idea group. Um, this is a bit late uh, to take that. Economic could work well, I suppose. Yeah, let's take it economic. Can always use more money. God damn it. Alright, if I attacked you, would help break loose? Probably. Let me just check your think tech wise we are. Doing okay against most of them. I think the fifteen is sixteen is the highest they got in military. So we still have a very decent edge against them. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's risk it. That's what, Yak Lokma, sure. Okay, mm it doesn't seem too bad. Doesn't seem too bad. It just. So, uh, I'll be fighting that one as well. Okay, maybe we can sneak in this province up here. That would be nice. We can square off the north, at least parts of it. Go there. And, well, we can't cross the strait here. We could probably just waltz over here, really. Um, can we just waltz over here? We can. Oh, 
Oh, an actual Regency Council. Ugh. It's a pretty good one, though. As the Regency Council goes. It seems like Regency Councils are usually pretty damn crap. I think they have a minus on their power. Not very sure. Uh, I don't know if they landed up here. How annoying. Over there. Okay, they're sitting there, being annoying. Good riddance. Go there. We're splitting up a bit. Not something I like. Let's also see if we can get another general. Kerrigan Mayamo. Oh, uh, a bit too much fire, but it'll work. You'll do. Kill that. How can they... Oh, they landed, maybe. Can you kill that? Ah! They're running away. Don't. Sweet. Uh, yep. Let's see. Oh, yeah, kill that as well. Kill that. Uh, you're just chilling there. Fine. Balkratzas. Good. Do like more production. Okay, just chill there. See if they land more troops or something. You're going up to take that. Good, good. Uh, right. Let's uh, let's cut here. So yeah. <coughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. I very much appreciate your support. And a big extra thanks to my channel members: David Wilson, Mike Murray, Tim Reno, Christoph Kroll, and Wisco Matt. Thanks a lot, guys, and I hope I see you all next time.